Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, we were just here in the Airbnb doing work. Went out and got some dinner last night, which I don't think we vlogged. But this morning, we're going to go take Suki for a walk around the block and get us some Melbourne coffee. So, let's go. <laughs> morning Zoomies time. Someone started shaking, so then we had to go get her jacket. <sighs> She's not used to the Melbourne weather. Look at this needy dog. This is the off-lead dog area at the Darabin Parklands and oh my lord, there is so much space. Puppy! Sicky girl! Hello! <laughs> Hey puppy. Go, go, go. Puppy. Suki girl. Come on. Let's go. Suki. desks again today and we have spent most of the day once again working and yeah we're just really wanting to get out for tonight so now we're on our way to one of our favorite restaurants in Melbourne and it's on Ligon Street and it's called Universal and it's pretty much where every uni student or poor uni student I should say goes for a meal and still to this day after many years of going there we still go there for a really reasonable feed because they have like $14 parmesan as I'm pretty sure they still are um, but I don't know if I'm going to get that tonight. I might go past her. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're so excited to go out tonight because, like I said, most of our day has been spent working. Uh, you would have seen the walk that we did earlier today with Suki, and she absolutely loved that through the Darabin Parklands. That is such a nice afternoon now in Melbourne. Apparently it was meant to rain, but I don't know. We haven't seen much rain yet, which has been really lovely. We'll show you a little bit more of Suki at the restaurant. We've actually bought her a portable mat, so hopefully she's going to be very comfortable as she sits there.
be complete without a stop at Grunetti. And we managed to get a couple of tarts, I believe. I think Dan got a cheesecake. And I got a hot chocolate because that's just basically the tradition of walking along Ligon Street for dessert. Um, we are actually going to take a quick trip to a couple of our old apartments that we used to have in Melbourne. And we're just going to kind of drive past them. I think for nostalgia's sake, we're just kind of <laughs> just finding something to do, I guess, after dinner and then probably gonna head home. Olinda golf course uh, they've actually turned it into pretty much this big open dog park so that was really cool we, we met up with our friend James and his dog and we just let Suki run wild basically she enjoyed it so much now we've uh, come out to the other side uh, of Melbourne to Williamstown. Williamstown is just a really cool place to come and look at the city skyline. You can see pretty much the entire city. It's just a really beautiful afternoon weather wise so we thought we would take our opportunity because we actually go home tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon maybe. This morning is our last morning in Melbourne. It's been a very short and sweet trip here to Melbourne this time around with Suki. Uh, but I think she's enjoyed her time here and we definitely have and we're a bit sad to be going home as always. Uh, but we really hope that you guys have enjoyed the vlog so far. We are heading to Chapel Street now to do a little bit of shopping and maybe have a coffee before we head home because uh, it is such a lovely day here in Melbourne. It's quite warm too. So we'll give Suki a bit of a walk. 
And apparently you can take your doggos into a lot of the shops on Chapel Street, which is really exciting. They have a dog friendly sticker on each of the windows. So if you're planning on taking a pub shopping in Melbourne, this might be a really good place to do so. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this Wonder Walkers video. Coming up next on Wonder Walkers, we'll be heading back to Victoria to go camping in the Lakes Entrance region. We look forward to seeing you then.